Okay, let's look. So, you can push it back. I'm wondering if, <gasps> look at this. Oh my god, you can completely make it disappear. This is so good! Okay, it's roughly a thousand one hundred pieces. Oh my god, this looks so good! Okay. Hey everybody, it's Nicole or Nikki Bricks here, and welcome back to not another review video, but rather a reaction video to the summer 2022 Lego Harry Potter wave. So now, I did not see myself collecting Lego Harry Potter this year. I honestly thought after the last couple of waves, I was not impressed. I was not excited for new sets. I did not like that we were just recreating the castle sets, you know, even if they were from years prior and sets that I've never collected before. I just wasn't into the whole, okay, let's just make all of these Hogwarts castle sets and stack them on top of each other, put them side by side, whatever it is you want to display them as. And I think part of that is due to me having already done the whole micro scale castle. It just, it wasn't exciting for me to redo the castle over and over again. But anyway, that just, that was the direction we were going in and it wasn't exciting for me. So I kind of just decided I was gonna step back from the Lego Harry Potter and just focus on the Star Wars. I know your perspective right now is mostly just Harry Potter, but I actually have like my whole shelf over there that you can't see and it's all Star Wars. So honestly, I was looking forward to saving some cash, not collecting the next wave of Lego Harry Potter, but I got a little peek at these leaked images and they're a lot more exciting than the last round of sets was. Granted, not all of them. I'm just, I mean, you're seeing the same thing I'm seeing, which is just the homepage of Promo Bricks with all the new leaked images. And this is all I've really seen. I haven't looked at these sets closely, but we're gonna just look at them all together and see what we think. Okay, so the first set we're gonna be looking at is set 76400, the Hogwarts Carriage with Thessarals. I did look at this set a little bit. Naturally, it's the first one on the list, so I did take a peek at it. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I like the Thess rolls, I like Harry and his new torso printing, and I love Luna. I don't think I'm impressed by that carriage. I mean, especially after the Bo Batten's carriage, no carriage impresses me anymore. The tree is something I practically already have from that whole Umbridge's Encounter set, so essentially I would just be getting this set for those two minifigures and the Thess rolls. And those Thess rolls are a pretty good enough selling point for me, but let's see, what was the price range here? Okay, so it's gonna be about 20 US dollars. It's 121 pieces. I don't know. You know what, if that set goes on sale, here I go. If that set goes on sale, then there's a decent chance I will get it because I love those Thess rolls, but yeah, this carriage is not looking like it's doing it for me. Luna does come with a quibbler, I love that. No, the carriage is not impressive. But this is cute! Essentially, this scene right here, what you're seeing, that's all I want. Is these two guys, aww. And Harry and Luna. Yeah, that's alright. That's pretty cute. But it's tiny. She looks like she's enjoying herself. Okay, oh, this is our next set. Alright, let's scroll down. Okay, so we have... Set 76401 Hogwarts Sirius's Rescue. So here's the kind of set that I just don't care for. Okay, and I'll tell you why. I don't like that these sets are so open. I mean, they have a lot of playability. That is essentially their only purpose, in my opinion, unless you're trying to build up the whole castle from all these bits and pieces. But like I said, if you already have the micro scale castle, it's just, it's, it's not as fun. It's not as encouraging to buy these sets. And something about the design of these, they're just open in a way that is not impressive. It's just not impressive for me, in my opinion. But looking at this set, I do really like... I don't like his cage. I like Buckbeak. He's pretty cute. Hermione and Harry are not any different that I can see from the Hermione and Harry I already have, and if they are, it's not a big enough difference for me to really care. They have some, like, mud splattered about them. Mm, 
The only selling point for me in this set would be Sirius, and he does look really cool, <laughs> but that is not enough for me to buy this set, and so I think this set is going to be a no for me. I mean, what else do we have? Oh, this is the next set. Okay. Yeah, no. That's a no for me, and especially not at 50-ish US dollars. This is in euros, and I'm not going to do the conversion right now. Yeah, that's that's not going to happen for me. I'm, I'm, I'm deciding executive decision right now. I'm not getting those new castle sets because... First of all, I assembled them from the last wave. I looked at them. I didn't even like them enough to film a review on them, which was disappointing and felt like a much bigger waste of money for that reason. And then I just put them back in their box and put them away. That's how unimpressed. I didn't even want to display them. Yeah, this is a no for me. But anyway, 345 pieces, yeah, no. Okay, set 76402, the Hogwarts Dumbledore's office. This one I did hear about and I was really excited for. Okay, it looks good so far. I love the extra level that they added to this. We have Snape, Dumbledore. <gasps> it's Harry with the invisibility cloak. All right, well, looking at the castle on the inside. Yeah, see, this is my deal. This set... Dumbledore's office had so much potential, so much potential. You know, in my head, it's just that this set was much more of a interior of just Dumbledore's office, very isolated, like you had the two stories. Maybe the scene where Dumbledore gets arrested would have been really cool. So you have like Kingsley there, you have the Minister of Magic, Dolores Umbridge, it would have been really cool. And you would have had a wall with the moving paintings which I guess which it would have been a bunch of sticker pieces, but I mean, I don't mind all that much about that. Fox and his cool stand, a really nice Dumbledore's desk. I mean, they could have made this up to be really, really cool. And instead, it's just like, it's called Dumbledore's office, and the only part of his office you see is his desk, writing pen, there's the sorting hat up here. Yeah, yeah sort of. No, that's another no for me. What is this priced at? How much are you? Uh, nope. That's a no. Okay, so it's like 80 euros. That's, it's not gonna happen. All right, moving on. Next up, okay, okay, here we go. This is where I was getting very excited. Here we have set 76403, the Ministry of Magic. Okay. Always appreciate the amount of minifigures you get in Lego Harry Potter versus Lego Star Wars. Look at that. What do we have? One, two, three. It's going to tell me here. Nine figures! One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, that does include the Dementor, not including the golden statue. All right, all right. This is okay. That's, is that the only image I get? Let me see. Interior... We do have individual offices. Ha! Huh, you get the telephone booth? That's nice. Fireplaces. Lots of mail, lots of newspapers. Umbridge's office. Very pink. That's pretty small. Okay, these offices are a little bit more compact than I would have wanted, but uh, maybe I didn't want much more than that. Is that Arthur Weasley's office? <laughs> He's got a rubber duck. What else? Picture of his family, I'm guessing. Okay, that's all right. This is a little bit less than I kind of expected, to be honest. <gasps> are those the prophecies? They are! Right? I'm assuming that's what that is. These minifigures look really good. Okay. Okay, so this set, I... Oh, I'm kind of disappointed. This could have been a little bit more. I mean, these minifigures are really great. It's just that... I don't know if I'm all that impressed with Umbridge's figure. It's not a big step up from the last figures we've gotten. <laughs> There's Mary. Mary's printing looks pretty great, actually. That looks like Arthur. This would be Ron, Hermione, and Harry in their disguises. What are these two guys' names? I forget their names. 
Yaxley and Pius, that's right. Okay, they look pretty good. I really like those minifigures a lot. His torso printing is excellent, and wow, a lot of detail in the face printing. <gasps> look at this. Yaxley's like Ministry of Magic pin on his tie. His torso printing looks very nice, actually. Wow, okay, I'm very impressed with that, actually. I'd like to see what his hairpiece looks like on the back. Those are a really solid set of minifigures. But again, the build, I really like the front, how it looks. These colors are gorgeous, all the gold and, and the dark green. It's just, it's almost, it's a little bit strange that it's kind of this archway, and then you would have this entire middle that's empty. I don't know what you would do with, like, I'm picturing that on my shelf, and that's a lot of empty space just behind it to kind of have nothing going on, so that's a little bit weird. And if you were to display it showing the inside, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. They show you how you can rearrange it here. Maybe stack them in different ways. Oh, I forgot about this. So Harry, Hermione, and Ron do have like alternate, <laughs> if you twist around their face, I think it's Harry, Ron, and Hermione on one side and their disguises on the other, which is really cool. They also come with alternate hair pieces. Love the Dementor. What is he holding? Is that supposed to be him sucking out the soul? Oh my God, that's funny. All right, this is okay. The interior is all right. It looks like we have some like playability with the fireplaces, I guess, like pushing and pulling people out. We'll see how that works. Okay, ultimately, I wanted more for this set. I did. I, I like it. It's just the whole archway design. It's cool. I think people are gonna make some really amazing mocks with this. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm excited to see how other people do it because I know it's gonna be amazing. People are gonna buy like three, four of these, stack them together, put them side by side, hopefully fill in the back of this weird emptiness, um, or maybe just even design an archway themselves from how this looks here. This is more of a playset kind of design. And, and now that I think about it, I don't know how it wouldn't be because it's such an open area. Like you would just kind of recreate that duel, have like the row of fireplaces, Anyway, that's it. That's pretty cool. It's beautiful. These colors. I really love it. I love all the detail that they've done here with like the golden leaves. Those are really nice. The green smoke is interesting. <laughs> um, you have some like boarded up newspaper walls here. It looks pretty good. I like it. I mean, my first impression, look at it. I'm going to give it like, I'll give it an eight, which is higher than I was thinking actually. Um, because even though this is a little funky, this open gap, these minifigures are super cool. The colors and the design of it is actually really well. It just, you know, it's missing a little something there for me. A hundred euros? No. Know about that a hundred euros okay I'm looking at it I'm thinking no my first impression is that this would be 60 maybe 70 80 I, I could say I could say 80 a hundred we're not gonna talk about that right now okay set so 76406 the Hungarian horntail oh it's it's like it's like what they've been doing for Fox and, and Hedwig. That's cute. The, like, um, displayable creatures line that I guess they're doing. So I guess what we've decided to do is with Lego Star Wars, we do the helmets line, and with Lego Harry Potter, it appears we're really starting, like, a magical creatures and beasts line. This one looks a little bit too messy for me. A lot of open studs. I mean, I know it's the Hungarian horntail, so he's got all of these crazy horns and, and awkward spikes coming out of him. Whoa, this fabric is really cool, though. We have holes in the fabric here. You can really see, like, <laughs> the bones, the veins of his arms, um, which I do explicitly remember pop out a lot in the movies. So that's pretty cool. But, I mean, looking at this, 
Uh, compared to Fox especially and Hedwig, I don't really think I'm impressed by the messiness of this. I'm wondering, this tail, I mean this tail looks like you could display it any way you want, that's cool. I mean the coolest part about this is how you can have Harry flying away with the egg here. I love the golden egg. That's really interesting with his broom and he's got his competition uniform on which is really nice. So this is a Triwizard Tournament set but I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna get this one either. Am I like 0 for 4, 0 for 5 now? No, I think I'm gonna get that first Thestral set. I really like this purple and orange flame, that's really cool. But I mean this isn't quite as exciting for me as like Fox was. Fox was the best one by far. He was really cool. Um, this one's, this one's interesting. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna really like this, especially, I mean, the fourth movie, Goblet of Fire, is one of my favorites. It used to be my favorite, which is funny because I think a lot of people really dislike it. But anyway, I mean, a lot of people are gonna really like this. My favorite part is definitely the cape piece, the fabric used for his wings. Poor thing with the holes in it and everything. Yeah, it's interesting to see that that's what they're doing. They're kind of making a magical creatures line. Let's see, 50 euros, 671 pieces, pretty decent. Harry's a really good minifigure to get in this. Exclusive arm print, decent set, I'm not gonna get it. <gasps> Howling Shack. <laughs> okay, we have set 76407, the Shrieking Shack. What does it say? The Shrieking Shack and Whomping Willow. This is a cop. This is 110% a cop. It's a cop for me, it's a cop for you. This is a set that I wanted so badly. Wow, okay. Okay, so the way that they boarded it up looks really, really good. I wish it looked a little more crooked. I, In my mind, it was kind of more like the Weasley house, which I have, you know what, sure. In my mind, it was a little bit more like this, where it was very obviously crooked. That could be, it could just be the image that we have there. But in my mind's eye, it was a little bit taller than this. That's fine. All right, it's good. <gasps> Werewolf Lupin? Is that what that is? This Whomping Willow looks really cool too. It looks like it's like barreling into the ground. Looks like you can pretty easily have your minifigures kind of hanging on there. I'm not sure what this, this looks like a cloud. What it, it's the moon. Stop. That doesn't light up, does it? Why are they making it look like it lights up? Is that just an effect or is there something? It's glow in the dark. It must be glow in the dark, huh? Let me see. Okay, so it doesn't say explicitly if that's glow in the dark, but that looks glow in the dark to me. Shrieking Shack looks amazing. Werewolf Lupin and this full moon thing is actually really, really cool. They should have used like a transparent piece for that though. That doesn't look very good. Um, okay, let's look at the inside. You get Peter Pettigrew. I'm assuming you get a rat. Yep, you get all of the Animagus alternates. That's really cool. Okay, so some really good playability with the Whomping Willow. The shack opens up underneath, so I'm guessing you could shoot them from inside the tree or from underneath the tree into the Shrieking Shack, which is cool. This reminds me a lot of the interior of the Hogsmeade sets. Like, a lot. Okay. That's pretty plain. I mean, it's supposed to be desolate and uh, there's not supposed to be anything in there. That's the piano for sure. <gasps> Look at this sticker piece. That's really cool. Kind of looks like it, the boards are just ripping up and there's holes all over the walls. Um, It's weird that I'm expecting more for the interior, even though I know that it's supposed to be empty. There's not supposed to be anything in there. All right. Honestly, the interior, I don't care about. I just care about the exterior and this Whomping Willow, Werewolf Lupin, and this Full Moon is insane. Here's Sirius in his dog form. Of course, you get Harry, Hermione, and Ron who are all looking seriously roughed up. Um, that's pretty cool. I never do anything with these, like, extra fence pieces. Although, you know what? That I'll put, like, right in front, and that'll, that'll make it look really good. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's see how much, whoops, back to full screen. Oi, 
Now I'm struggling. All right, let's see. 90 year, see that's incredibly reasonable. So now moving on to 76408 Grimald place number 12. Yeah, that's, <gasps> ah, okay. This is pretty solid. Look at Creature. Okay, we have the Weasley twins. We have Molly, Ron, Kingsley, Harry, Sirius, and of course the lovely Tonks. Okay, so I'm wondering what the playability here is. Can you pull it up? You can push it back! Yes, they did it! Okay, let's look. So... You can push it back. I'm wondering if... <gasps> Look at this. Oh my god, you can completely make it disappear. This is so good! Okay, it's roughly 1,100 pieces. Oh my god, this looks so good! Okay, let's see. So you can make it disappear. We have, <laughs> aw. We have Crookshanks and Ron. <gasps> the family tree. The family tree. Wow, that is probably my favorite set of sticker pieces in any Lego set ever. Looking around to make sure. Okay, probably. That looks really cool. Look at that creature. This dude has wrinkles all over his face. Well done, Lego. Okay, we have the kitchen, which I kind of wished would be bigger, because judge me if you want, but I love Order of the Phoenix, because I love all the scenes that take place inside Grimmauld Place especially like the Christmas scenes and with Sirius and Harry all of that is really nice <gasps> oh my gosh it's the ear oh no this set is cool that's the piano isn't it that's the piano over here that just looks like a room with a chair that's the front door it'd be cool I know it would be like a clash of of different movies but it would be cool if you had like a transparent Dumbledore who comes at you know, any intruders, um, like they did in the Deathly Hallows. Okay, more kitcheny entryway, weird storage stuff up here. Okay, we don't really, that looks like one of the bedrooms. Weird stuff going on up here. Okay, we kind of just messed around a little bit with some random stuff, but, um, I think that this is really cool. What does the interior look like when you... I guess it's not going to show you what it looks like when you just have this house. Because this doesn't disappear. This just pulls forward. So I guess that must look pretty funky. But, um... Aw, oh, look at this new torso and leg printing from Molly. Even Sirius has a new torso and leg printing. That more green, kind of classy, wizardy look. These go out. That goes up or back. Solid! really solid man look at all these new printings this looks so good i love that hair piece for tonks her outfit looks sick kingsley looks pretty good too there wouldn't be much variation for him i guess that's kind of his color molly and sirius have the most impressive new printings i think and creature look at creature with that shredded up tank top that's cool. I like that a lot. These are great. No Hermione? Hmm. All right. No Hermione. Okay. That's it. That's all of them. 130 euros. Sure. 130 euros. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. That's it. That's all the sets. So if I were to rank them from my favorite to my least favorite, worst to first. Okay. 
or, or first to worst. My favorite is the Shrieking Shack, then Grimald Place, then the Ministry of Magic, honestly, then the Hogwarts Carriage with the Thessrals, the Dragon, and then these two castle sets go last. Dumbledore's and then Sirius's Escape. That's disappointing. I really thought I was going to like the Dumbledore set a lot. But you know what? This is, I mean, this is a lot better for me than like the Hogwarts Moments books. I bought four of them. I didn't get the two most recent ones, even though the most tempting part of those were the minifigures. I decided just not to do it. But anyway, I will probably get the Shrieking Shack and Grimmauld Place. And if for whatever reason I find like a really crazy good sale on the Ministry of Magic, the thing is I want to build it because I really like those colors and I like the overall design. It's just the price for what you get. Even though you do get so many minifigures, it's not exciting for me, the prospect of like that trade-off. These three, probably this one, not the castles and not the Hungarian Horntail, but I don't even think I'm going to get all of these opening day. I think opening day, I will pick up the Shrieking Shack and maybe Grimmauld Place. And then the rest of these are just like, hey, when they go on sale. But officially not quitting Lego Harry Potter like I initially thought. Anyway, that is it. I'm a little bit tired and I think my voice sounds tired by the end of all this talking. Um, and I was thrown off by the camera cutting off there. I have no idea what got filmed and what didn't. But anyway, thank you so much for watching my initial reaction to these sets. I am pretty excited for June 1st. That should be when this is coming out, right? June 1st for all of these, I'm pretty sure. And let me know which one of these is your favorite. Let me know what your opinions are on these sets. Is there anything that you're like, um, what are you thinking? This is awful. And, you know, what are you going to be picking up? So that is it for this reactions video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it wasn't chaotic. It was my first time doing this like double filming thing. So we'll see how this goes. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.